What's going on my dudes? It's your boy Daily Productions here and uh, today we are going to be doing some more Swarm Z and this time around we have to protect the baby inside of a pretty big factory area here. So um, there is the baby set up straight in the middle and we have 35 thousand zombies about to attack us here they are surrounding us from three different sides it's gonna be a little tough gonna be a little tough on this one um let's start out with some just defenses around the baby i think you know just really make sure the baby itself is like safe as can be with these um high grade hesco barriers which i think is kind of the way to go um and then let's do ranged units around the baby i think um so let's do a bunch of shotgunners because those dudes are real real good um some assault riflers too because uh we want some range in there and then also just some standard revolver dudes yo there's also an rpg guy is that a new addition or, or is it just because we're now in a uh, higher level, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Um, also, is Telecaster a new addition? Not fully sure. Not fully sure. Either way, I think we should do our pillbox um, idea that we used in the last one. Because that was actually... Not to toot my own horn here, but that was really smart. I mean... We kind of killed it last game because of that, straight up. Um, so I like the pillboxes. I think those are super effective. Um, so we'll do a few more of those. Why not? Why not? Um, let's also do, I guess, some batters in there too, because they're cheap and they, they just fill up some slots nicely, I guess, you know? Um, we'll also get a rifle man and um, get some pistolers too. Okay, um, we also need some stuff going on over here. I'm thinking maybe um, barricades like this. Then we get, I don't know, this crowbar dude on the corners like that. And then ranged people on the inside like that. That could be kind of smart. That way the zombies attack the crowbar people and then the ranged dudes are safer, you know? You know? Um, also, maybe just a straight-up barricade like this um, with, I guess, yeah, two more crowbars, crowbaries, crowbarios, and some more shotgunners, I guess. Why not? Um, it seems like a pretty decent idea. Um, I don't know. We have a lot more points we can spend here. So we might as well, I mean, let's spend them up, you know, but running out of ideas, to be honest, I, I think we got a pretty good setup at the moment. Um, why don't we have just like a, a super strong pillbox over here and this one will delay for a while because it's so fortified, you know, this will just be a good delayer. This will be really good. Um, Two assault riflemen, and then some shotgunners, and then I should probably put a sniper in somewhere here, right? What if we did a sniper with the baby? Sniper with the baby. And then, oh, I, I have an idea. I kind of want to try out the bazooka trooper. So <laughs> why don't we just straight up t just sauce one in there? Just sauce a bazooka trooper in there. Oh, and then let's also, oh, whoops, take him away. Get out of here. Sir, how, how do I delete? <laughs> no, wait, straight up, how do I, how do I delete him? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's a little complicated. Okay, why don't we just get an arrangement of melee units just surrounding the baby, too. You know? Melee units surrounding the baby, and then the ranged people on the inside will have a nice time. And then, let's also get a second little mini fortress over here. 
and then these can be yeah just other dudes pointing towards the baby in a separate defense position okay we spent all of our money we spent exactly the amount we had 110 grand and these zombies are going to come at us here brace yourselves brace yourselves people brace yourselves okay 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 here they come i like seeing the the huge area here with just tons and tons of zombies coming on forward here Oh yeah, look at these dudes, oh my god, they really do be swarming, they really do be swarming, my goodness, our shotgunners doing a pretty nice job here of, of tearing it up, absolutely tearing it up for our boys, oh yeah, we're doing okay so far, let's get that nice overhead view again, yeah, look at this, oh one sec guys, Sorry about that, fellas. I had to go talk to someone real quick there. Okay, so the defenses seem to be holding I so far. I guess it's a little premature to tell. Okay, these defenses did not hold I. These guys got a little bit butchered. I guess they were, you know, close to the front lines there. So, kind of makes sense. We got plenty of backup lines. The Bazooka Trooper hasn't even been activated yet. Look at these fellas over this way. They're holding out very, very nicely. Well done, Troopers taking on some redneck zombies here. Beautiful. Rednecks taking on redneck zombies. Love to see it. Love to see it. Gorgeous. Uh-oh, they're getting real close. Getting real, real close. That's okay. They got this. They got this. Easy peasy. Shotgunners are probably one of the best units in the game because they're cheap. And they're also just super, super effective. This side over here is still holding very, very well as well. Look at these guys. Look at these champs. Look at these absolute champions of men. Um, I do have to say this side, though, is by far the worst. This crowbar and shotgun are, though, still holding the mantle. The crowbar does go down there through the swarm of zombies. At least we have these backup defenses. I think that's of the utmost importance. Look at this. The zombies are actually just bailing on this little uh, pillbox that we had going here and going straight for the baby instead there's the bazooka trooper my man over here with the the afro this might be a reference to like saints row the third or something like that maybe it's a saints row the third reference that'd be kind of cool i gotta say i do love that game it kind of slapped i remember playing it way back in the day i think i had it for 360 or maybe i had it for computer i can't remember if i had my gaming pc by then not totally sure yeah this side is holding up nice this side is holding up nice. Um, this side not holding up so nice. <laughs> we got definite funnels coming in. Seems like this is probably the largest. This one's the smallest, and this one's like a mid-size. But it's it's still really, really early to tell. Can't quite make it out just yet. Still no one has made it to the guitar defenses yet, which is very, very good. We want to keep it that way. These guys are just completely out of action at the moment because these zombies stopped coming down this way and started going this way instead. This shotgunner, though, still cruising. Still cruising. Honestly, if we lose this, we might want to put more shotgunners like against these because the zombies might not even touch them. That'd be a pretty good idea, honestly, but I still have faith in our defenses. We could still win this. These dudes over here, their barricades are getting torn to shreds. They're about to go down, probably. No one's reacting to these zombies behind them. They're all trying to focus in on these guys over here who are closest to the baby that we're protecting right now. So, uh, things ain't looking too good for these chaps here. Not looking too good at all. The Bazooka Trooper, though, definitely a solid investment because he is taking out large swaths of zombies when they reach a little bit too close there, which is beautiful. Oh, look at this. These guys still prevailing a little bit. B -E -A -U -T -F -O. Um, guitarist still not having to uh, enter into the ring quite yet. They're going to be a nice little, um, you know, just before the final defense ty type of a thing. You know, a, a nice little Hail Mary there, and then we'll be stuck with uh, just the last of the guys, too. Um, this side is just so good. Such a good side over here. Way to go, chaps. Way to go. Love to see it. How's the baby doing? Doing okay? But there's not even a baby in here. I guess it's like under the blanket, maybe to like mask the scent from the zombies. Perhaps that is the, the key. 
I'm so ashamed that these guys really aren't doing anything at all. This guy's an absolute chad. He's still knocking out zombies, left and right. He's just getting free range. The, the zombies don't even care about him. He's killing these trucker zombies. Alright, these guys over here, though, are getting a little bit closer now. Maybe a little too close for comfort. Luckily, that bazooka trooper's still wiping them up quite nicely. Um, these guys probably soon gonna die. There goes one of them, the last one. Um, still kicking. Hopefully, he can kill at least a few more zombies before he bites the dust, too. These pillboxes are a great investment. I really like them. Maybe we should make the pillboxes stronger barricades and make the barricades around the uh, baby less strong and that would sort of uh, make these pillboxes last longer and um, you know the final defense just has to hold out or something like that. Either way that guy does go down and that is the end of these defenses over here but we still got bazooka trooper, we still got all of these guitarists, we got the main defense over here with like the sniper and whatnot so we're looking okay. We're looking okay still. Over here, this is this is a wash. We got this side in the bag. That will be no problemo at all. Whew. Is this shotgunner over here still alive? He is. Look at that. Maybe these zombies will get close enough that these guys will actually activate and start firing. I kind of doubt it, though. Part of me kind of doubts it, but... I don't know, maybe. It'd be kind of nice if these guys were useful, like, at all. I mean, we spent all that money on them. Probably a good, you know, couple thousand to, to build that defensive line right there, and they're... They're just not really doing anything. All right, let's speed things up a little bit here. Going into two times speed, just because there's so many zombies and nothing is really changing right now. If things really start to develop and things go south, then we will go back into normal speed, I think. But, you know, for now, I think it's safe to, to go into even four times speed, I think, is okay for now. All right, what is going on? Yeah, I mean, we're still holding them at bay really, really nicely here. This is no problemo. We got this. We got this. Easy peasy. Alright. It only goes up to four times speed. Yeah, this side was so easy to hold. Probably because we had really good defenses over there, obviously, but... These sides less good. I don't even think we would need a final ring if we had, like, solid defenses like these ones, you know, spread out on the other sides, too. If you think about it, you know, we'd be fine like that because... We just... I think you need, like, multiple pillboxes separated out and then you're indestructible like they can't attack all the pillboxes at once but since like over here we only had the one pillbox the zombies were able to swarm it but over here we've got three pillboxes well two and a half i guess this one doesn't fully count and um they're able to hold a lot lot nicer so maybe that's the key and then we have a smaller defense on the interior you know as a final stand just in case things go bad maybe something like that i don't know i don't know either way i think we are gonna get a quick victory off of this and look at this chad over here i honestly think the solo units like without any barricades you know just a cheap unit in one weird place like this could be worth a lot because this guy never died and he's just getting free kills on zombies left and right maybe in future episodes we do more of that too honestly all right so this side is completely destroyed we won that nicely and uh these two sides slowly getting chopped away at and our guitarists aren't even going to have to smash any zombies with their, uh, with their strings, man. Okay, so the last side to uh, live was the middle one. And bada bing. Gets killed. Baby is safe. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, so this will be next episode's arena. We're going to be going up against 40,000 zombies. Um... And uh, that's going to be pretty nuts. The baby will be at like an abandoned church in the middle. Ooh. But we do get 135k, so that'll be good too. This one will be cool. I'm really excited for this one. The last one was okay. I had fun in the last map. That was good. But this one I'm really excited for. This will be this will be sweet. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.